So I have been doing what I do for a number of years now. Uh, we'll say about 10. And, you know, I've never really done just a good lengthy introduction video, just really going into what I do and what I'm about. Uh, so here we are. Um, for those who don't know, I am Bob Magoo. I am the, primarily, I am the writer behind uh, Tales by Bob. To be clear, I'm the only person who does Tales by Bob, um, but that's also my primary, uh, my primary gig, as it were. Um, but I do a host of other things. Uh, I host the Books, Beards, and Booze podcast, which is uh, on hiatus for the moment due to COVID because uh, we record in person. But any day now, um, as vaccinations are rolling out, we should be getting that back up and running. Um, I also host a uh, political discourse program called Let Us Listen to One Another. And uh, I am I, I started the Hilltop Howlers, which is a Montgomery area uh charitable organization that works to promote the arts and music in the hilltop region of Montgomery. Um, but so, as I said, my primary gig uh, is Tales by Bob. Uh, I started writing, uh, I guess, the last semester I was in grad school. I had written my whole life, just dribs and drabs here and there. But around that time is when I decided to take it, start taking it seriously. And uh, I started out just writing short stories, just a lot of short stories. Um, started trying to hone my craft a little bit. And uh, NaNoWriMo came along. And that's what really changed things for me. Uh, for those who don't know, that's National Novel Writing Month. It's when you try and write 50,000 words over the course of November. Uh, and that year, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. And I did. Uh, I did it. And I did it the following five years as well, I think. Um, and what I did was I just sat down, and uh, over the course of November, I cranked out my first uh, collection of short stories. I then took those and uh, started submitting them to different anthologies, got into a few, got into a few lit journals uh, here and there. Um, you can go to my website to see the full list of my bibliography, as it were. Uh, but at that point, I then really started trying to knuckle down and crank out some books, and uh I finished my first horror novel called Capital of Nightmares, which is set in Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, I finished it in two 50,000 word chunks, two years apart. Uh, and that is the first novel that I ever wrote uh, beginning to end, like full novel length, solid single work. Uh, since then, I have written uh, two fantasy, sh fantasy novels. I have uh, written who was it seven uh urban fantasy novellas in the howard marsh series i have written um uh, a hundred thousand word steampunk uh short story anthology i've written a hundred thousand plus word uh southern horror uh short story collection and uh, just a bunch of dribs and drabs here and there i've done uh writing for some well-known bands uh, i've done a ton of freelancing for video game writing and board game writing uh, I do uh, RPG, uh, like one-sheet RPG design is a hobby of mine. Uh, I crank out a ton of those. Uh, and really, I, I, I have been, I've spent the past 10 years just really getting after it and uh, writing a ton of words. And I'm now finally at the point where I'm ready to start really pushing to get them out there. Um, in my early days, I really pushed to get into a bunch of anthologies, and I did, and I was happy with that. And now I just, uh, I'm just ready to take it to the next level. Um, so I've shopped my novel Capital Nightmares around to a few agents. I'm waiting to hear back uh, from this latest volley to see if someone's going to pick it up. Fingers crossed. Uh, but if not, um, I'm prepared to go the self-publishing route, which I have done to a limited degree. Uh, you can go on Amazon now and you can find two little, little books I wrote. Uh, one is a self-help book called create your way to freedom yeah create your way to freedom um it's a little self-help book for creatives uh i can i can save you the dollar and uh sum it up for you in that if you're a creative person that's fantastic there are billions of other creative people out there uh it is you actually getting you creative with your creativity is what's going to make you stand out uh whether it be hosting podcasts or starting uh, groups like the Hilltop Howlers or whatnot, just getting getting out there, getting in people's faces, that's what's going to get you noticed and hopefully get you where you want to be. 
Uh, my other is uh, I wrote a joke book about uh, mythical species of clams. Uh, there's a long story behind that, but just roll with it. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to do any readings or anything like that on this video. Uh, just that's a rundown of who I am as a writer. Uh, just kind of a, a, a brief overview of everything that I've done so far. Uh, if you want to know more, I invite you to check out, uh, what is it, this side? Yeah, tellsbybob.com. Hmm. Uh, on there, it's got links to everything that I do. Uh, there's also a website for the podcast. Um, you can listen to the podcast anywhere that you listen to podcasts, from iTunes to Podcast Addict to you name it. Um, and they're even on YouTube. Uh, but uh, I will warn you, it is um, perhaps PG-13 at best, what I say. There's some, some explicit uh, language content on there, so listener be wary. Um, but we talk about books, drink a little alcohol while we do it. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and so, but just every other little project that I do, you can find it uh, there on my website, tellsbybob.com. It's also got a nice landing. <coughs> I apologize. It's got a nice landing page for the Hilltop Howlers on there. And uh, a bunch of the other stuff I do, like let us listen to one another and uh, the Cult of Crimson, which is my joking uh, satire laden uh, ode to Alabama Crimson Tide football. And uh, short films I've done, just you name it. Um, I, I do a little bit of everything. But writing is writing is what makes me most happy. So uh, hopefully uh, by the time you watch this, oh, I've gotten some great news that, yes, this agent has picked up my, my horror novel. But if not, uh, look, this year I will be having novels out there in the world for people to purchase. Um, I also... Love to go to conventions, and I love to host panels at conventions. I've hosted uh, four now at this point at different at SonoCon, FanaticCon, and Gump City Comic Con. I've hosted panels at. So if you're watching this, you're hosting a convention. You need a panelist to come talk writing stuff. I'm your guy. Uh, yeah. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it was informative. I uh, hope it gave you a general overview of what I do and. Uh, yeah, just thanks for watching. Cheers.